What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I have some epic concept art done by Bill Me Now Gaming and Iron Lord whose channel and Twitter can be found linked within the video description. Now this obvious piece of concept art I am covering for various reasons. Since the early days of Destiny 1, there has been much but a place to offer, much other than exotics and ammo simps. When in truth, Zer, the agent of the Nine, could offer so much more. Many people expected such when he was confirmed to make a return in Destiny 2, but how underwhelming is he now? If we take a look at him in Destiny 1, he offers so much more than his empty inventory in Destiny 2. And the fact Destiny 2 should have actually evolved upon Destiny 1 makes things even worse. Zer could be something great, he could be an extra edition of Grind brought to us every week so there is more for us to do. And seeing this concept image made me realise this so much more. So first let's check out this concept image. Firstly within this image is the true representation of how much Zer could be offering. We see Season 2 missions, these missions or quests so to speak could be a weekend timed event. Also obviously these Xur missions or quests for us to complete would add a whole new level of grinding gameplay for us to get used to. We can see here 6 plus missions, although this amount would be great, it wouldn't be entirely necessary if say quests or missions had multiple steps of a certain length. We then see Season 2 rewards. Now as much as I love the idea of Zer bringing his own stash of mods, shaders, engrams and sparrows, I am guessing such rewards would obviously rotate if implemented into the game. The concept here though is made in a way that though that there's also prestige rewards too. Now said normal and prestige rewards would obviously be set around certain mechanics here to add to those missions or quests he offers. Or a set number of these missions are normal and a set number could be prestige. That makes more sense. The rewards shown here could be in rotation of loot which drops for certain weeks or actually maybe doesn't rotate at all. The loot he brings is the loot you will get from those missions on that specific week. He also offers his standard stock too. Now things of such would not only add to Zer, but for those of you guys like me who own every exotic the game offers, it will give us something to look forward to for when the weekend approaches and Zer is incoming. Because at the moment Zer is completely useless to me and so many other people. Now Destiny 2 as a whole though needs so many new additions which to be honest should have been there upon release. There is no excuse for that. The state of the game and the way it's been brought to us upon release led to the position it's in now. Destiny 2 as a franchise has never been this bad. People have boycotted Bungie. More saying it's even too late for them to recover. Loads of the community have moved on. The game has been nothing but a disappointment. Upon saying that though, Bungie are starting to roll out fixes which will no doubt make Destiny 2 a better experience for the hardcore player, but it's going to be months before all these changes are set in stone. Until then expect minor updates of changes to come. What's been announced by Bungie via the roadmap looks definitely better, their communication with the community is better, but you can't help but think this has come out of worry for the franchise. Bungie wasn't always like this, for sure they used to communicate, but now they're on everything making sure nothing which is planned for the game is hidden out of sight. For sure certain things won't get revealed, but more sandbox and core changes to the game have been spoke about in decent detail, and the change is definitely in my opinion are on the right track of making Destiny 2 the game it should have been upon release. Will it save the game though? I am not sure. So upon changes being made to Zer and implemented into the game, Changes of such as what we see within this image I can't imagine happening for a long time. There are so many more important things to fix at the moment, but if changes to there were ever going to be made I can imagine ideas like these would be looked into by Bungie. For me what Zer offers in this image are great, but for me I think Zer should be like every other vendor and have his own set of unique loot, that being armour and weapons. The Nine are such a complicated race, much is known about them but there is still so much more that we could learn if we had the chance we could dive deeper into. Yes Trials of the Nine allows us to do that to a certain extent but it really is limited in things we can learn. Zer though could have a major effect on PvE and bring such missions which no doubt would allow us to learn much more and that would be great. I just want there to be a certain set number of rewards that are limited to Zer and have their own unique perks and so forth. Much like how we are seeing the rare gear go with those specific raid mods. The ideas are in place elsewhere. It's time Bungie start making the most out of other things too. In my opinion Zer is one of those other things. So yes, a change to Zer would be definitely welcome for sure. Will it happen? 
Well, I'd say if there was any kind of plan in place for Zer to actually come off in such things, that's the kind of impact we'd normally get or see within a major DLC. Such things ain't done by a hotfix, so if changes are to come, it won't be at the top of their priority list at the moment when the game is in such a bad state and many other things need addressing. On that note guys, I am out. Massive thanks to both Building Our Gaming and the Iron Lord for allowing me to use this image. It really does showcase what we should be getting with Zer, what Zer should be offering. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Tell me what you think about this Zer uh, image. Thanks as always for stopping by. Do drop a like, it really does help me out. And hopefully people, I will see you on that next one. Always in the